From the height it reaches, the speeds it carries, and the absolute sheer amount of theming, especially around the ride, this coaster was insane. Hello, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing something quite different. I haven't done it for a while, and that is a review. Uh... Yep, I have to do them every so often, I'm sorry. This in-depth analysis and overall opinion recollection is all about Conda at Wallaby, Belgium. The park's brand new for 2021 Intamin Mega Coaster, and um, it is something to say the least. And also, thank you so much for 22,000 subscribers. It is insane. Thank you so much. If you do go on to enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. So pretty much, I'm going to go through a POV as usual. I'm going to go through the ride experience as a whole. And I'm also going to go through why it isn't as good as Icon at the Blackpool. I don't even know why that came to mind because you can't even compare the two. But in all fairness, Icon is better. The area around Conda is actually really cool. You've got some weird stone statues and massive wooden spikes and some really cool rock work. And it's real, guys. This beautiful theming follows all the way through the queue line into the station. Uh, not really onto the ride, but we move. You venture through the queue line. Uh, I don't know why I did those hand actions. And the ride runs right alongside and away from the queue line. And it's such a good build-up. The station as you enter as well is really well lit and has some really cool audio. Um, when it dispatches, it makes some weird dinosaur sound. And I thought it was on Velocicoaster. I have travelled to America in an instant. Now the build-up is all cool, but we're at the point where you mainly want to hear about the ride itself. So you start with being on Velocicoaster and hearing the huge... You then ascend the rather tall lift hill. And uh, you're in your lap bar restraint, of course. The very freeing very epic and you crest the top of the 164 foot lift hill where you dive head first down into what i like to call the better big one twisted drop and if you sat towards the back on that like with a big one you get whipped over which is so much fun the airtime hill that follows after that drop is very airtimey if that's a word lots of out of seat moment is provided followed then by this huge outer bank which is also very Outer banky and airtimey, if those are words. <laughs> Lots of out of seat moment is provided. Those are both amazing elements. And then you head up into the very strange reverse cobra roll. Now, this feels very different depending on where you're sat. At the front, you get pushed up into it and you get whipped quite a lot. And at the back, you get whipped. And it takes that at just the right speed. It is beautiful. Although, do we have a debate? Is it actually an inversion? Do riders invert on that element? Icon Immelman Part 2. You head down into a selection of airtime hills and bank turns, which you're either taking at super fast speeds or are super intense. Then there's a weird outer stall thing, which is a lot of fun. And then you go up into whatever you want to call this. Like, bear in mind, I had no idea what the POV was because I have bad memory. This bit caught me completely off guard. Like, what crazy person designed that? With those three little hills and every single other one on the ride, you come out your seat, like, fully. It's not like a slow little flow to like, oh, I can feel it in my stomach. You fully fly out your seat, metaphorically. You do loads of smaller airtime hills and turns, and there's one that's slightly outer banked as well. And then you absolutely haul into the brake run. And if I'm being honest, that end bit very much reminds me of the ultimate at Lightwater Valley, which is sadly no longer going to be with us. <sighs> Rest in peace, soldier. It genuinely does everything it sets out to do, if not better. It's action-packed, it's extremely enjoyable, and I really enjoyed it. I just said the same thing twice. And also, it's re-rideable as hell, because it has a single rider line. You could literally just go on it constantly all day if you wanted to, because that line gets no cue. And that's how I ended up doing it six times in one day. Wow. They actually do call me the best consecutive rider in the world. Wallaby Belgium is so easy to get to by train or even car from Brussels. And it's such a good park with Conda being such a great coaster. Go now.